Hey everybody, Weem here. Welcome to Seven Days to Die. It looks like we've kind of spawned in an open area here and we really don't have any kind of delay. We just jump right in and get started. So we're going to take a peek around here. Got a couple zombies nearby. Some trees. This is a really cool biome. I've been playing the game off and on with a couple different saves, kind of starting over, checking things out, and I have not run across this biome yet. Now, I'm going to get started right away just kind of gathering up the things that are nearby me. That's cool. I've never found corn before like that. <laughs> so yeah, like I said, we're going to start gathering this stuff up while I explain a little bit about what's going on. Now, Seven Days to Die is a zombie survival game, and that's pretty much all I need to say about it. We're pretty used to this by now. I posted a video a while back, uh, earlier this week, uh, to see if you guys would be interested in, in uh, me playing this game. Let's see what we get here. Stick. And it sounded like you guys wanted to, which was great because I've really been enjoying it. So, we're jumping right in here. We're gathering supplies, uh, and basically just trying to survive. Now, we... There's no permadeath here. When I die, and that is going to happen, <laughs> I guarantee you, uh, we will respawn. Now, this is a randomly generated world, so one of the first things that I want to make is actually a sleeping bag because you can use that to set a bind point. So let's see what this is. We got cans. And once I set a bind point, the cool thing is when you die, you can respawn either on the sleeping bag or near it, which is pretty cool. It'll be a little less stressed out, but for now, the uh, sleeping bag is definitely something I want to get on. Now, in order to do that, since I'd like to stay focused here, we're going to gather up this uh, cotton. We need six pieces of cloth to make the sleeping bag, and it takes two of those cotton plants to make one cloth. So essentially, we need 12 of those guys. Where are we at right now? We've got seven of them, so we're actually pretty close. Um... We've got some water over there, it goes into another biome. Let's kind of head in that direction because usually in a forest you find a lot of cotton. So Now I'm also picking up stones. We're going to sharpen these and make some tools with them. Looks like there's some more corn over there. That's cool. And one thing I don't like about water is there tends to be the um, these giant bees nearby. It's not cool. I do not like them. So let's see here. I'm getting spooked because I have little specks on my monitor and <laughs> they're freaking me out right now. Like, no, that is not a bee. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> okay, so let's hop over here. In fact, I think we're close, right? We've got nine. We don't need a whole lot more. So let me grab this stick. One of the things I like to do is I like to actually go into this crouch mode because it lets you know if you're actually being detected or not. Sometimes I'm not really sure and I want to get to crafting some things and the game certainly does not pause while you're crafting. So sometimes I'll kind of crouch, wait a bit, make sure that I'm not immediately detected and then I'll get to work. Now usually they make, the zombies make their presence known, they're making noise and everything so you kind of have an idea. But sometimes even when they're far away they make really loud noises that sound like they're nearby. And after a while you start to disregard them like, eh, I hear it all the time and the next thing you know you're getting punched in the throat. <laughs> So, they definitely want to keep an eye out for that. Um, let's take one more peek here. What do we got? 11. Nice. Just one more. Got some nearby, I'm sure. There's some. Let's check this out real quick, though. Sports bag. Oh, nice. We got a jacket and a club. Some other stuff in here. Very cool. Now, if I go to my character, you'll see we got all these stats here. Let's go ahead and throw this jacket on. Uh, you can see we now have some protection. Very cool. We're going to draw his attention, aren't we? Let's kind of crouch down here and try to be ninja about it. Oh. Oh. Okay. Let's run. Now, they aren't too hard to take down, these zombies, but really, you do have to be careful. It doesn't take much to really mess you up. And usually what it comes down to is you don't have enough good supplies to kind of recover from it, so... I like to just kind of, what I'll do is I'll run, and then as if I were a terrible ninja, I run and then crouch, and just kind of see if that was enough to do it. <laughs> and sometimes it's not. It says hunted, and I imagine myself just, you know, running over and crouching in a corner of the zombies like, nice try, weem. <laughs> okay, so we have another one ahead there. Let's actually take a peek at the map real quick. We're going to pan this back. So we're on the edge of two biomes here. It usually is water that's separating them, so it's an indication we're at a forest here. Now, one thing I did not know was that there's a road. It looks like it's right here. 
there is indeed a road crossing here and that's very cool because usually along the road you'll find structures and that would be pretty nice I'd love to find some kind of house that we might be able to post up at I think we're drawing attention here okay we've got some glass panel now I really need to make this sleeping bag um let's go ahead and run along the road and then we'll kind of duck off and see if we can hide from this guy of course we don't want to pass up too much stuff okay let's run out in here There's something to loot here we're just gonna go ahead and crouch and give this a second he's still coming towards us but we've got some time let's jump over into the crafting and I just I can just type this in sleep so there's the sleeping bag oh you know what we have to make this uh, cloth first let's see we can do this here hold up a second that's not what we want to do actually stop that I'm starting to make the seed I forgot that it takes two of those and I just threw one in um, that's fine we can grab one more if you just put one in then it does the seed so that you can plant these guys Oh, everywhere we look, zombies. So I'm going to run around a bit. Uh, did we check this? No, we didn't. Grab those. Got some gloves. Excellent. And I'm going to try and find a place where I can sit down and make this sleeping bag. Looks like we might be able to do that over here-ish. Detected, hunted. Okay, we're too near them. They are all over the place. Sometimes it's just on the other side of a hill or something. You can't really tell. I think there was one over the edge over there. There is water here. Let's actually take a peek at it. Just a little bit down in there. That's a really cool little pond area. That's kind of cool. I'm not really into setting up a, a defensive base there or anything. It doesn't look like it'd be super secure. Okay, this might work right here. Let's go ahead and check this out. So what we want to do is we want to make uh, cloth fragments. That's what we want. And we'll go ahead and pick up half of these, half here, craft that. And the cool thing about the sleeping bag is once you put it down, that kind of sets your bind point, And you can actually just pick it up and bring it with you. So that's pretty sweet. That's what I really like about it. It lets you be really nomadic. Okay, now here's zombie. We're going to try and do this really quick. Unfortunately, you can't spin around or move while you're crafting, so I can't look. I hear footsteps. No! <laughs> Where are you at? Oh boy, let's just uh, head in this. There you are. We're going to run right by you. Excuse me. Coming through. So what we're going to do now is I'm actually going to peek at the map. Okay, I do want to get back towards the road. And then I think what we're going to do is we're going to drop the sleeping bag. And then kind of hover around that area wherever I put the sleeping bag down we're gonna hover around that area and just gather as much as we can and then we'll probably pick up and move and I think that's gonna be an ongoing theme at least initially until we find a good place to settle down maybe some kind of home to move into and that's where things are gonna get really interesting I hope you guys stay tuned for that because I'm really not sure about how to you know be building the walls or defending you know a structure like that or reinforcing the walls it's really something I'm looking forward to figuring out and for those of you who have played this quite a bit do feel free to leave me your tips and comments things you think I should be doing and focusing on totally helps and I appreciate it greatly okay so far so good a lot of times I'm faced with uh, rotting bread and things like that and if you pick that up it actually draws the attention of the zombies so okay we got you too. I think what we might do is continue to move through this biome. Take a peek at this really quick. Oh, geez. Hunting rifle stocks and pants. Excellent. We're going to take a look at the map here. And uh, that is not the map. <laughs> we want this one. I'm almost thinking that I move through the biome and see what the next biome is. Um, just to kind of get an idea where we're at well, look at this it's just is that just a big lake it looks like it and you can actually drink directly from the lake we got our stats down to the bottom left you can see my health my stamina my hunger and my thirst I could actually drink right out of this but it actually it would make me not feel very good because <laughs> it's murky now I'm assuming that there's fresh water that 
that it's it's actually good to just draw directly from but i have not run across that yet i'm not really sure what that looks like so for now we're just going to be cautious we got a bottle of water down there in the number two slot right there I'll try not to accidentally drink it since we don't need it yet look at this a fork in the road what are we going to do here we'll take a peek at the map and kind of decide what we're going to do I'm going to walk into this a bit. Okay, let's take a peek. So we really have no information based on this. Um, we do have the lake back there. We passed. Let's go ahead and go right. And probably going to want to drop this sleeping bag down pretty soon. Um, we do have a lot of resources here. You can see we've got the cotton plants. We've got some big boulders here. We can actually make um, just an axe that we can use to kind of chop some trees down. We could bust up some rock and that takes a little while. So this might not be a bad place. Yes, I'm pointing with my fist. <laughs> this might not be a bad place to go. These kind of taller green bushes here too. We get sticks from that. We punched out a couple times, but um, I think this might be a cool spot. Oh, look at that. There's like a structure over here. Oh, there's a couple of them. How cool is that? Okay, let's head over here. If we're gonna... Is that another structure over there? No, it's a cliff. I, th I think. I mean, I can see that's a cliff, but right where I'm pointed, it looks like that might be a wall of sorts. Or it's just some kind of other dirt. Yeah, it looks like it might be just some other material. Now, I'm not gonna worry about actually kind of posting up in these homes just yet, because if I go in there and we got zombies all around... Look at that. Did they all just turn to come at me? There's a lot of them. I would love to raid these homes for uh, possessions too. So I think what we're going to do is go ahead and drop the sleeping bag because things might get a little hairy here soon. I think we're just going to go do it over here. Oh, we got some rocks here too. We're going to drop this and then we're going to kind of get to gathering and avoiding zombies. <laughs> we'll just pop this under the tree. So there we go, that is now our bind point. In fact, if we hit M and pan out here on the map, you can see we've got a little house there, so that's indicating where we are going to respawn. I think this is a pretty cool area. Now, one of the other things I'd like to do is I would like to get a uh, box put down. You can make a storage chest, because right now, if I die, I drop everything. Now, when I respawn, I can go find my bag. It even marks it on the map. But uh, if you die again, I believe it clears the previous uh, drops. So you don't want to keep dying, you just keep losing everything. And in order to do that, we need to make an axe. So let's see, we're, I'm going to actually run away and try to hide a bit here. Let's, uh, I don't see anybody over here. Let's just run over here a bit. Uh, anybody, anybody? Let's crouch down. So far we're undetected, but you can see the trail of them right there. They're not that far behind, and, and they may actually know where I'm at. But let's go ahead and take a moment here. Let's throw the uh, stone in. Let's see. Where do we do that? There we go. We're going to sharpen these guys up. And we need stone. We need sticks. We've got the sticks, but we also need plant fiber. And we're going to get that actually from this grass. Give us a couple punches. It's very hard to see. That's it, though. The small spinning blade of grass. We need to gather up a number of this. A number of these. A number of this. Just pulling grass out of the ground with zombies all around me. Post-apocalyptic gardener. Now, I'm actually forgetting how many of these I need. I think I just need a few. Okay, we are worn out. We're gonna go ahead and take a break here. And look at this guy. Let's see. We need um, plant. What is it? Plant fibers. So we can just throw this in here. That's going to make six. I think that's probably more than enough. I think I need two or three. So we'll go ahead and get these going. Now you don't... You might actually find wholly crafted weapons as far as guns go, but I've never run into that. I always run into the bits, the pieces of them. And in order to make those, you actually have to have a recipe for it. It's not good enough just to have the uh, parts. And from uh, various you know things that you loot, you can find books. And in reading those books, that's where you'll figure out a bunch of... Um, let's see if I took this in. You'll find a bunch of uh, recipes. Oh, really? It's just one of each. Wow. 
<laughs> what a memory weem. So we'll craft this, and it is an axe. Unlike other games, we can actually use this for pretty much everything. Uh, we can hit the grass with it, it kind of brings it up a lot faster. Um, we can... Kind of the taller green stuff I talked about over here. Normally this takes about four punches, this stuff right here. But we can just kind of give this two little whacks and get the uh, sticks out of there. This is a kind of a cool cliff here. Now, also, in case you did not know, you can actually uh, dig in this game and mine and get ores and all of that stuff. Very Minecraft style. So it might be that we end up digging in uh, underground to make a base. I think that would be pretty cool. Um, from what I've read, that's kind of the thing to do if you want um, the safest bet. You can, you can get a house. You can build a house. You can reinforce the walls. Do all kinds of stuff like that. But the zombies can tear through that stuff. But if you kind of dig in and you've got a really narrow kind of focus, maybe multiple doors, and they're trying to dig in through the uh, through the earth, that takes them quite a while. Now, I've actually never busted up a rock like this, but I was just recently watching a video and a guy was doing this, and he actually got some good materials from it. I was like, wow, I didn't know you could do that. I did, especially didn't know you could do it with a uh, stone axe. <laughs> Apparently you can, so we're going to give this a whirl. Okay, what do we have here? Coal, other things here, some stone, more coal, potassium nitrate, okay. Is there anything else there? Okay, excellent. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bust up like another couple of these stones and probably cut down some trees. I actually, I'll go ahead and show you that right now. This takes some chopping. We'll want a better axe at some point. Um, and this, they work really good against zombies too. <laughs> And we're also going to be gathering up. Uh, one of the next couple things that I want to focus on is I want to get a campfire. Uh, that way we can cook things. I want to make a crate to store some things. And uh, we also want to make a crossbow. Those aren't too hard to make. They're nice and quiet. Headshots work really well against zombies. So I've got a number of things I'd like to be gathering up. But like I said, I'm going to bust up a, a couple more boulders perhaps. Maybe chop down another tree or two. And uh, we'll see where we're at at that point. Did this rock just drop a stick? Looks like a stick popped out of there. <laughs> okay, I took down another boulder and in fact took a couple more trees down. If I jump into my inventory here, you'll see I've got some planks. I already went through and used some of the wood and made some planks. And I've got the storage chest brought up here. So we're going to go ahead and do this really quick. Throw these guys in there. Go ahead and craft one of these. And I have found a really cool place. Just by accident. Now, over by the cliffs where I was kind of running around, I ended up having to run for my life. And we even had a guy spawn right there. He hasn't noticed me yet. But I ba you basically come into this, make a left-hand turn, and it comes into this dead end. And while the dead end sounds a little dangerous because zombies can come in after you, it, they are easy enough to sprint around. Granted, at night they get a little crazy. They can run around pretty quick. But I think what we're going to do is we're actually going to put this storage crate down in here. Um, let me see on the map. Yeah, there you go. You can actually see the layout of these cliffs here. So we're tucked into this guy here. In fact, it looks like over here on the, above us to the north a bit, there's a another one that's kind of narrow. <clears throat> Excuse me. But uh, this, this is actually a really cool spot, especially just for now. Um, we can really gather a lot. There's a lot of trees and stones. So let's go ahead and drop the crate here. We're going to go ahead and put some things in here for now. Um, because, again, I have it set to drop everything if... Uh, if I get killed. So it'd be nice having this stuff nearby. Let's see. Water food bandage, that's fine. We're gonna go ahead and leave the club. If we die, we've got a weapon in here. Stick. I'm pretty much gonna leave a lot of this stuff. Um, let's see. Sometimes I kind of throw in half of what I found. We got some iron fragments too, that's pretty cool. Lump of coal. And we want to throw on the pants and the gloves, yes. We definitely want to do that. We'll leave the logs here, half of the planks, half of these guys, half the feathers. I don't need this, I don't need this. I don't know that there's an automated way to throw into the storage chest. If you hold shift, it goes to your tool belt, and shift again does that. I've, I've messed around with holding control and things like that, and none of that seems to do it, so... We are just picking up and dropping these. The bullet casings we can melt down to iron. I think it's iron. But uh, let's see here. 
We've got the rifle stocks. We don't really need those right now. Anyway, I think that's totally fine right there. Let's go ahead and put on the pants. We're going to put on the gloves, hands. There we go. So we got a lot more protection going on. That's pretty cool. Definitely need that. We got axe, food, water. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a run over to the sleeping bag and bring that over. Now, we're probably going to draw this guy's attention. Not really a big deal. Even this guy, we're going to draw their attention. But I really want to get that sleeping bag and, and just bring it back over here. I'm actually going to try and lay off the sprinting a little bit. Our stamina is kind of dropping down. Okay. So there's our there's our little sleeping bag tucked away between two zombies. <laughs> Excellent. Let's sprint through these guys and go ahead and pick this up. Oh, come on, there we go. And get this back to our little nook. Oh boy, looks like I'm gonna have some uh, guests in the new home.